All right, so 1999 state quarter here. It is the Georgia State Quarter P mint mark. The coin has been broad struck, so we can see that there around the rim of the coin. Now this quarter here, as a result of that, sold for a little over seventy dollars. Next up is a 1999 D mint mark. Now this is a Delaware State Quarter. It's got a triple curved clips so we can see those clips taking place in the images displayed you can look for clips on all kinds of different coinage not just quarters this coin sold for around 45 dollars now same thing with this coin this is a new jersey state quarter from 1999 it's got the triple curved clips and we see that there those three clips on this quarter so Pretty self-explanatory there. This coin sold for around 50 bucks. So if you ever come across one, definitely hold on to it. Now here is a Jefferson nickel from 1999 that was struck on a one cent coin. So a nickel essentially struck on a penny. We can see here on the forehead of Jefferson, the word Liberty from the penny design, the Lincoln cent design. And we also see the motto, the phrase and galley trust there around the rim of the coin from the penny. And then here on the reverse, you see both designs, the Lincoln cent and the Jefferson nickel design as well. So those are super, super rare coins. This nickel here sold for over $1,000. $1,000. Now, next up is a 1999 D mint mark. Now, this is the Georgia State Quarter. We see here on the reverse, it looks pretty normal. But here on the obverse, it's got that copper look to it. And that is the inner copper layer of the clad coin. Now, what is happening here is that it's missing the outer layer. It's missing the clad layer. So here on the front of the coin, the obverse of the coin. Now this coin here sold for over $100 as a result of that. So not too bad for 25 cents. Now here is a 1999 Lincoln cent that has been double struck. Now the second strike is 95% off center as we can see here in the images displayed. And this penny sold for around 90 bucks. Not too bad, almost $100 for one cent. Now here is a 1999, again, Georgia State Quarter. It has a die adjustment strike. So we can see how it's, the design is all faded out. That's a result of that die adjustment strike. Now this coin here sold for over $130 as a result of that mint error. Moving on to a 1999 Lincoln Sense. Now this coin here has a reverse die break, a major reverse die break. It is graded at a mint state 66 red. So if you're not familiar with coin grading, the scale goes up to 70. This is at a 66. So it's in very good condition. Now we see that big cut there, that uh, die break taking place. Uh, that is just amazing. You can look for cuds like this on all kinds of different coins, not just pennies. Some will be much smaller than this. Large cuds like this are gonna be a lot more desirable by collectors. We see here on the front of the coin, uh, the result of that cud taking place. And this penny sold for over $300. 300 bucks for one cent. Like I said, there could be small ones and large ones. And it could be on any side of the coin, the obverse or the reverse. Now here's another 1999 Lincoln cent. Now this one has an obverse die cap. It's pretty extreme. You can look for these types of errors on all kinds of different coins. Of course, finding something like this in a coin roll, it would be you know super, super uh, rare to find. That's why they're called rare coins. And this penny here sold for over $575. Same thing, same uh, type of error going on here. We got a reverse die cap. It's a 1999 Pennsylvania state quarter. And this coin sold for over 900 bucks, $900. All right, moving on to a 1999 D mint mark. Now this one looks pretty interesting, don't it? It is a Jefferson nickel that has been not only struck off center, but off center on a straight clipped planchet. So that is, uh, man, that's a lot going on there for that coin. 1999 D mint mark sold for over $110. 100 bucks for a nickel. I'll take it any day of the week. Now here is a very cool coin. This coin is a 1999 Lincoln cent that has a Mint State 64 red grade. 
and it is a lot of two coins. So we got two different Lincoln cents going on here. So this coin here has been broad struck and it's got a brockage and it is a mated pair with this other coin that we're going to show you. And we also can actually see that it's got a die clash. Clash dies there. We see the Lincoln Memorial pillars coming there on the front, the obverse of the coin. Now here's what the reverse of that coin looks like. And then here is that coin that it is mated with. So that is really cool, man. 1999 mated pair there with those types of errors. Wow, that would just be uh, super, super uh, rare to have. These coins sold together for over $380. $380. All right, next up is a 1999 Lincoln cent that has been struck 35% off center. Like I always say, you can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins, not just 1999 pennies. Uh, if you guys are new to coin collecting, this coin here sold for over 90 bucks, nearly a hundred dollar penny. Now here is a 1999 Susan B. Anthony dollar coin that has been struck 60% off center. And because of that, this dollar coin sold for over $370, 370 bucks. Moving on to a very expensive dime. Now this, of course, we're not finding stuff like this in coin rolls, but I have to add it to the list of 1999 error coins. This coin here is a two piece bonded set. So uh, bonded coins, man, are just absolutely amazing to look at. Uh, they're uh, so extreme that, you know, it's just like, wow, you know, wow. This coin here sold for over $3,300. That's right, $3,000 for this error coin. Next up is another state quarter, 1999 P mint mark. It's been double struck, obviously, as we see here in the image display. And that double strike is 50% off center. This coin here sold for over $300, 300 bucks. All right, now another off-center coin from 1999 is the P Mint Mark State Quarter, struck 17% off-center, New Jersey State Quarter, and this coin sold for around 75 bucks. Here is a 1999 Lincoln Cent, once again. It's been double struck with the second strike being 60% off-center. This coin here sold for over $120. Next up is a proof coin, the 1999S Jefferson Nickel. It's got an extremely high grade of a proof 68 deep cameo. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70. This is at a 68 and it's been struck through. It's got a strike through here on the reverse of the coin as we can see here by the beginning of the phrase e pluribus so strike throughs again take place on various different types of coins this coin only sold for around 45 bucks so it's not really you know super super valuable but here is another jefferson nickel from 1999 that's been double struck and 90 percent off center a really awesome type of mint error here this coin here sold for around 150 dollars now here is a 1999 broad strike again taking place on the Jefferson Nickel P Mint Mark. This coin here sold for around $150 as well. Here is another off-center coin from 1999, the Roosevelt Dime P Mint Mark. This coin is 15% off-center and this dime sold for around $150 also. Now here is another off-center coin. It is a no-dated state quarter. It's been struck 35% off-center, and we see that we are missing the reverse design of the coin as well. So this coin here sold for over $175. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.